Hello everyone, let's take a look at our next problem. Given a function f of x, you are told that the integral from 0 to 1 of 3 f of x plus the integral from 1 to 2 of 2 f of x is equal to 7, and the integral from 0 to 2 of f of x plus the integral from 1 to 2 of f of x is equal to 1. It follows that the integral from 0 to 2 of f of x dx equals negative 1, 0, a half, or 2. Okay, so uh, we're clearly going to need to remember a lot of our uh, rules for how integrals combine. Uh, in particular, integrals, you, you know, we can separate integrals uh, over an interval into separate integrals over disjoint intervals. Um, it almost, it also also looks kind of like a linear equation. You know, now that I look at this directly on both equations the second in the second integral goes from 1 to 2 so we might be able to take a difference of these and um, and eliminate uh, the integral from 1 to 2 what are we going to be left with then yeah I, I think this it's not exactly it is like a, a linear system. If we think of the integral from 0 to 1 and the integral from 1 to 2 as two different variables, then this is just a, a linear system of equations. So let me write this out um, as it's given, and then I'll split each expression up into um, integrals over distinct intervals. And then we'll just solve the system and compute what it is we're asked for. Um, so by declaring two variables a and b to be the integrals from 0 to 1 and, the and from 1 to 2 respectively, we can rewrite everything here as a system of linear equations. So all I've done is this first integral, I've split up, this is equal to a plus b. Um, and then, of course, down here I can combine these b's into uh, two b's, like this. Uh, and we should be able to just solve the algebra here uh, pretty quickly, straightforwardly. And then at the end, what we're going to want is the integral from 0 to 2, which is a plus b. So I get that the answer is 2. Um, and that is one of the multiple choice options we're given, so I'm pretty confident in this one. Um, not too much to say to this, uh, say about this one. Um, just splitting this integral up into two integrals over different intervals uh, was really that was all that was necessary. And then treating each of these non-overlapping integrals as distinct variables like this uh, was really all that was necessary. Um, yeah, I guess my, my instinct did take me there kind of quickly. Um, and honestly, a lot of that was because of the format that the question was written in, where it looked like the way you would typically write uh, a linear system of equations with two variables. Um, so that's kind of where my mind ended up going. Uh, if I have any more comments or if I find some kind of mistake, I'll put them in the description below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.